Hey everyone, welcome back. Crown Geek here. So today in this video, I will be discussing about a very uh, serious and critical problem that majority of the people avoid on their Windows PC and laptop. So have you ever brought your attention on your data security for the data you store on your PC and laptop as anyone can delete your data even if your PC is logged with a password? Yes, it's true and you should be aware of it. And let me show you on my end. You can see that I have a laptop here locked with the password. I don't know the password here. I'm trying to enter anything, but it's not going through. But it really doesn't matter for me. What I need is only a USB here of Windows 10 or Windows 11 bootable USB. And once I plug this to any device, after that, I just need to restart the computer from the login page only like I'm doing here. I will click restart, then click on restart anyway. And then depending on the machine, like I'm using the HP laptop, so here I will press the escape key. And it will ask me that for boot device option, you have to press F9. So I will tap F9 from my keyboard. And very soon it will be giving me the boot option menu where I can select the USB that I have plugged in and I need to boot from it. So I have a USB here, USB hard drive, SanDisk. So I will select it and hit the enter key. And now the computer will be booting up with this uh, pen drive with this bootable Windows 11 USB. And very soon I will be getting this kind of page, Windows 11 setup. So I will click on next here. Next, it says install Windows 11. I'm not going to install it, but still I will click on next. And now it may take some time uh, getting things ready. So you will have to wait or I will just wait here. And then it will be detecting the disk and very soon you will be getting this kind of page that says uh, select location to install Windows 11. Now my intention is not to install Windows 11. My intention is only to delete all the data inside this laptop or PC. And I'm assuming myself as any third party uh, person who want to delete your data. All right, and guys, this video is only for the educational purpose so that I can educate you that how exactly you have to secure your data and how exactly people can destroy your data. Now, once they come to this kind of a screen, they will see all kind of partition here. So either they can delete any external drive connected to your computer, any extra partition where you have your data stored, or even they can delete entire disk or the C drive that will be deleting your operating system, all your data and everything will be gone. So from this page only, what I have to do Let's say I want to delete the main partition that is disk zero partition three. So I will simply select it and then on the top I can click on delete partition. Now once I click on the delete partition, it will be deleting the entire C drive and the next time all the data will be gone and even the computer will not be booting up because the operating system has been deleted. And this is exactly what I was talking about that anyone can plug in this USB to your PC or your laptop and they can access this kind of a screen and they can easily delete your data. All right, so this was the problem, guys. Now, don't worry, you have the solution here. If you really feel that anyone can access your device and they can delete the data like this way, then you can easily protect it. You can block the people to access this kind of partition page. All right, so in order to protect this, you have two different options. Either you can disable the USB so that nobody can plug in any kind of USB and that you have to disable from the BIOS or either you can set the BIOS password and anybody who will plug in any kind of USB or even they will try to make any kind of changes with the BIOS. First, they will have to enter the BIOS password and then only they can make any kind of changes. So if you need the full security, I would recommend you that also disable the USB and also create a administrator BIOS password. But one thing you have to keep in mind, once you set the BIOS password, it cannot be reverted. It cannot be disabled. So you need to keep it somewhere very safe because if you forget the password, it will be very complicated uh, to recover it. And then finally, you will have to format the partition. All right. So once you are ready, once you feel that, yes, I need the security, I want to stop the people accessing my partition. What you will have to do again, restart the computer, access the BIOS screen. So here it give me for BIOS setup, press the F10 key. So I will tap on F10 key here and then it will take me to the BIOS. Now here, depending on the BIOS, depending on your machine, it's HP, Dell, Asus, Lenovo. 
uh, you may have the different interface of the BIOS. So first you will have to look for the uh, USB section that either can be in the system configuration or any other page. So on my end, I have to go to the system configuration. Then I have to go to the boot options. And in the boot option here, you can see I can find the USB boot. And on the very right of it, you can see it's been enabled. So what I can do, I can just uh, select it and click on it or hit the enter key and choose it to disable. So once I choose the disable, now the next time if anybody, even if you plug in any kind of USB, you will not be able to access it. All right, so once you are done, now you can go back and then you have to come to the security section and in the security somewhere you will find the administrator password. Once you get it, again hit the enter key. Now it will ask you enter the new password, confirm the new password. So you will have to go ahead and enter and create your password here. Now again, I would warn you, keep in mind, once you set this kind of password, it's very complicated to revert it, to disable it. So make sure that you remember it, you make a note of it so that you should never forget it. So once you will set the password, the next time when anybody, even if you restart the computer, first it will display this kind of a screen where it will ask you the BIOS password and nobody can access your BIOS or even they will not be able to plug in any kind of a USB to make any kind of changes. And in such way, you will be much protected and your device will be much protected even if your device gets stolen. So that's all guys for today and hopefully this information will surely help you to protect your PC and laptop. And if you really found this information useful, please hit the like, subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.